we go a long way in knowing each other and we've seen each other grow. And I'm very happy to talk about multi-criteria optimization today, uh, which uh, fortunately comes in many different problem solving tasks, wh whether you know it or not. If you know that uh, there, are, there exist algorithms for solving this, you would say, yeah, I'm interested in it because in my problem, I often cannot look at with a single object. So um, this has been going on since early 90s. So it's, it's about 27, 28 years old that we've been doing this, but that in, in, the, in the broad scheme of things of science and technology is not a very big or large number of years. But what I wanted, decided to do in this keynote, instead of talking about something very narrow and going into the details of that particular topic, I decided to look at from a 30,000 feet and talk to you about how this evolutionary multi-objective optimization field, in short, we call it EMO, EMO, how it has risen over the years. Because as Thomas said, I had been there since the beginning. So I could tell you a lot of details and some anecdotes and some stories about it, but I don't know uh, how much of that I'll do today. But then um, since I've seen this, I thought this would be a good keynote for particularly the, the youngsters who were there listening uh, to, uh, you know, to see what kind of hurdles one can get and how a, how a field in front of your eyes can evolve and become so useful. All right, so uh, I'm currently at Michigan State University uh, as a Kenny Endow Chair Professor. Uh, here is my email address um, shown here. Uh, and then my uh, personal website and my laboratory called Computational Optimization and Innovation Laboratory, insert coin. So you can go there as well. We have quite a few uh, softwares and algorithms in Python, MATLAB, C, C++ available to, to do this multi-objective optimization. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm going to give you a 30,000 feet view of this instead of going into details of anything, okay? So what is EMO? How does evolutionary computing help? Okay. And how does a field evolve? So it's, it's not only particular to EMO, but you can see all the things that had to happen uh, before we are, we are here today. So what are those things? Some of them have had happened by chance. Some of them have happened with a lot of initiative by, by, by the pioneers in this field. Uh, so how it all start, how it has risen, what is the current status and where we are going? But I really want to introduce you to some real faces behind all this. So there will be a picture of every, or most people, the key persons in this field uh, associated with the work that they have done. Sometimes I'm going to 